Good morning. Good morning. Not a bad morning view. So in the last video, I like hyped the shit out of this campsite. It turns out it might not have been the best idea because I mean, we were, how would we have known this? But some guy just like came ripping up here probably like 10 o'clock last night with one of those like Ranger ATV off-road vehicle things. He was, he was nice and he left pretty quick, but then he came back like two hours later and that was just kind of obnoxious because like, I don't know, he lives here. So like, I get it, but why'd you have to come back a second time, dude? Okay, we just started moving. We just got back on the trail for the morning. Today is gonna be about 17 miles, something like that. And let's see, we've got a couple little peaks, slightly bigger than yesterday, a little bit more climbing than yesterday, but it shouldn't be too bad. We're also just uh, gonna be going into Washington today, the town of Washington. The trail goes right through it. And it's not much of a town, but there is a general store that has allegedly food and ice cream and all that stuff. Um, so, Hopefully get some snacks along the way as well. ATVs aside, last night was a pretty cool night and uh, I'm really digging this trail so far. I think after officially making it more than halfway, I can say that this is a hidden gem of a through hike. So if you're in Northern New England or just anywhere in New England, honestly, you should come do this trail. It could all be worse. I could be a hater like you. It could all be Poison's gonna kill you from the inside out. So right now, say it with your chest now. Say it with your chest now. I'm young, I'm free. Can't nobody take me here and now. It's my time to run it out. It's my time. It's my time. It's so we're at this like little church thing here. It's uh, I don't know anything about church, I'll be honest. Seventh Day Adventist Church. I don't really know what that means, but it's pretty cool. It was built in 19 or 1842, and then it sounds like kind of picked up services during the Civil War and stuff, so pretty damn old, that's cool. To all the haters, cause you proved to me yeah. that rising to the top was my destiny. Yeah. And you can see whatever from behind me, but I'm still fly, I'm still fly, I know. I'm still fly, I'm still fly, let's go. We are dangerously close to the general store, which means food. I still don't know what I want, which is okay because I don't really know what they have either, but definitely something cold. I was debating the mozzarella sticks. Now you see it? No, you don't. <laughs> no, I still see it. Those seem like safer alternatives to motorcycles. All right, we're about to leave the Washington General Store. If you're hiking this trail, you definitely gotta stop here. Really hiker friendly, they fill up your water, they'll sell you a cheeseburger at 11 in the morning. Not sponsored. Not sponsored. <laughs> It's also like right on the trail too, so it's kind of a no-brainer. It's very dangerous to go in this pavilion because of the <laughs> virus, so... You can go in the general store, but you can't stand outside. Right, so allegedly this is the first town named after George Washington in the States. So that's pretty cool. Maybe a little bit too long at the general store. It's able to get some chicken fingers, soda, ice cream, everything to make me happy. Um, it is, it's a, it's a great resupply stop. <laughs> I think it's the only resupply stop. up here man spreading on top of the mountain so I don't know if I've actually really like introduced Taylor in this video yet here she is she she has a, a juggling <laughs> channel 
So let's see what you got. <laughs> Taylor the New Hampshire juggler. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> These aren't that easy to juggle. We've got like six and a half miles left to go today. A little bit of, of a, 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 a little bit of a predicament. Um, water is not super plentiful for the last four miles of this hike, and then the next four miles of the hike tomorrow. So basically, there's an eight-mile dry stretch, and we have to camp right smack in the middle of it. Of course, I say that like I didn't make the plan for this hike. So yeah, I think we're gonna have to haul water like four miles, which I know you West Coast hikers are probably like, oh, big deal, it's four miles, but that's not normal for here. I'm not used to that. Does it have the cute little pencils? Cool mountain. <laughs> Kinda. <laughs> You're not supposed to show that. That's like the most like mundane entry ever. Why are you embarrassed about that? <laughs> I'm never right in these things. <laughs> now I never will. This begins the water carry. Four miles uphill. So dramatic. Can he survive? I don't know. Guess I'm gonna have to. I have nothing to say right now. So when I doubt, make Taylor talk. How's my Sawyer treating you? Good, look, it's it starts off dirty and then you filter it and then it comes out clear. Wow. So shout out to Sawyer. Hashtag not sponsored. <laughs> we made it. Go dummy, go beast. I don't know. I go beast. Go. All right. This is it for the day. <laughs> We're at the uh, Moose Lookout Steve Galpin shelter. I had like a moment on my way in here. I was like, the last like mile of today, I was just feeling so good, I was so pumped. And then I got here and I like immediately just like crashed, honestly, but it's all good. We only have like five miles tomorrow, I think. Ah. Uh... <laughs> Turn and... on your notification bell. Don't forget to click the notification bell like she just said, and uh, yeah. Look at that bear hang. Good job, Kyle. Look how destroyed my Pop-Tarts are. That's so sad. Last day of the hike of the Monadnock Sunapee Greenway Trail, and uh, we have about five miles of the actual Greenway left, and then like two more miles to get back to the car after that. So, Taylor, I don't know what she's doing in there. It's summit day. It's summit day. We're gonna finish, and Taylor's going to officially be a through I want to hiker. Be a through hiker. <laughs> <laughs> this is my shot. People are gonna comment like, "That's not a through hike." I got that in one of my other videos. But it is a through hike. We hiked. Well, we haven't finished yet, but when we finish in a couple hours, we will have hiked the entirety of this trail, even if it's a short trail. So, I don't know. I think that's a through hike. Comment if you think that's a through hike or if we're full of. Shit. Um, I'm pretty excited for today. Um, I want to get this long distance trail done. No, it's not a long distance trail. Short, I don't short long distance. <laughs> I'm pretty excited to get this trail done. We are at Lake Solitude right now, which is like the final landmark destination on the Monadnock to Sunapee Greenway Trail until we get to the actual summit of Sunapee, obviously where the trail ends, which is about one mile on the dot ahead of us right now. So thank you so much to the Monadnock to Sunapee Greenway Trail Club for putting 
so much work into maintaining this trail and making it as awesome as it is. I see everybody It is so hot right now and walking up this exposed ski trail in the sun, it's not the greatest, but this is literally the last like point two, so let's get it. I think that's it. I think this is the end. I might cry. Not really, but it feels good. This is an awesome trail. You're still not a through hiker technically. You gotta touch the sign. There it is. Can I make the speech? Speech, <laughs> speech. I am a through hiker. I am a peak bagger. I'm a huge <laughs> hiking nerd. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Don't forget to smash subscribe to Trail Tales. <laughs> Believe it or not, this dumpster is not the worst smelling thing on the mountain right now. Hey. We made it, we did it. So this is like the end of the trip. It was a good time. Definitely go check out Taylor's channel if you haven't already. I'll, um, I'll have a link to it in the description of all these videos. Uh, she's going to crush the Appalachian Trail next year, right? Yeah. You can't change your mind on it now, you're committed. No, no, no. And, and you uh, notice we have matching shirts oh, now? Oh yeah, my, uh, I ditched my stinky shirt and Taylor gave me this one. So this Vermonter is wearing the New Hampshire shirt, but anyways, that's gonna do it.